Okay, let me give you the example about the convolution integral. Okay, so like trying to understand about this part, let me give you the uh, Laplace transform of convolution integral. Well, it is in the table as well, okay? So look at number 16, okay? So here we go, let me write number 16 to help you to understand about this one. So Laplace transform of the convolution integral. is equal to f of s times g of s, where f of s is the Laplace transform of f, and g s is equal to Laplace transform of g. That's it, okay? So we're gonna try to figure out which, uh, which part is function f, which part is g, that's it, okay? So here we go. So that's easy, look at that. Can you find it? Like we are not gonna do like something crazy calculation, okay? But look at that. So there is t minus tau, that is really concerned with this part, right? then we can assume like this part is t, I mean like t minus tau part. Can you see my point by the way? I'm not sure about it, okay? So anyway, so like this part is concerned with like function f, so we can say your f t is um, t squared because like, you know, in this form, like, you know, we have like t minus tau the t minus tau, tau part is like t part, right? And what about g t? That is cosine 2t. That's it, right? So now let's talk about Laplace transform, okay? Laplace transform of ht, which is hs, is equal to Laplace transform of integral 0 to t, f of t minus tau square, oh no, t minus tau, and g tau d tau, right? Then we know about this by the number 16, it is equal to f of s times g of s, where your f of s is Laplace transform of function f of t, and g of s is Laplace transform of g of t. Okay, and let me try to find this guy, okay? What is it? Laplace transform of t. It's Laplace transform of f of t is t squared. And we can easily find this on the table, which is number three. Okay, then the answer is um, two over s cubed. What about this guy? Laplace transform of gt cosine t. So look at number um, six, then that is equal to um, s over square plus two square. Is it okay? So now we're gonna plug in this one into there, okay? So finally I can say h of s equal to f times g, right? Which is two over s cubed s over s squared plus four. Okay, that's it. Is it easy? But you know what? Like the more important part to practice one than, uh, I mean like a more important part than like just like you know sort of this kind of practice, but you have to understand like look at your h of s. It is exactly product from product form, right? When you sort of differential equation, if you have this kind of function on your right hand side, then what did you do to apply the inverse Laplace transform? What we did was the like you know we had to do partial fraction, then we had to find inverse inverse Laplace transform, right? But this case, as long as you can understand about like you know convolution integral, then we don't have to find partial fraction, but we can directly find. Um, like, you know, your inverse of a transform by the conversion integral, right? That is like, you know, main part of this one, okay? Does it make sense? Okay, next video, we're gonna talk about problem B.